Doc Martin, that's right, the lone journalist for KRAZ TV with another, and this is a wonderful book, book review. It's called American Birds. This week uh, in the library they had a little stand and I did one with Sparrow Envy last week of a black birder. And uh, he was just great. He's from South Carolina. But anyway, this bird is a literary companion edited by Andrew Rubenfield and Terry Tempest Williams. And it is a compilation of all the uh, writings and stuff from people uh, in chronological order. And so it goes by uh, bird songs uh, of the... Of, the Ojibwe's, the Pima, uh, Meriwether Lewis, John James Audubon, Bryant, Wa Ralph Waldo Emerson, Henry Thoreau. It's just a sweet, sweet writings. Emily Dickinson. Oh, the list goes. Uh, Florence Merriam, Theodore Roosevelt, John Muir, Robert Frost, Sandberg. Now, I'm just not reading everybody here because it's just chucky jam packed with Oh, oh, Sterling Brown, Faith McNulty, oh. E.B. White, A Listener's Guide to the Birds. So, it's little poems, some of them are uh, observations, and uh, there is such a sweet. So, the introduction, I, there was something I wanted to read right near the, the introduction that was... Uh, what they say. This anthology gathers some of the best American bird writing, both prose and verse, from colonial period to the present. It is arranged chronologically by the order of first publication by the date of composition with two notable exceptions, the transcriptions of American Indian songs that began with the anthology and the Merwin poem that concludes it. Second, we have tried to represent a wide range of bird species in the anthology, but these selections can only begin to suggest the rich diversity of species and ecosystems in America. Third, we have attempted to represent a gamut of writing styles and concerns. Here again, necessarily, we can only begin to gesture towards something much bigger, the rich terrain of American writing inspired by birds that we hope readers will want to explore further on their own. It is such a sweet book. This is a keeper. I mean, this this is a, it's a little bit big to keep in the bird book, but it has its own little uh, placeholder ribbon, which is sweet. You know that's going to be good when you get that in a book. So I'm up to Walt Whitman, but uh, Thoreau, he was a real... Him and Waldo, uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson. I guess Emerson owned the pond where he lived, uh, on Walden's Pond. But uh, I just love the book. It is by Library of America. Another sweet, sweet book. It's a literary companion. So there's no pictures in here. That's okay. <laughs> but... Just the observations that people made of, of the birds is just so amazing, amazing. Well, what a celebration. In these pages, America's most beloved writers vividly capture the many splendors of our avian neighbors. The images of birds past haunt, while these of birds present motivate us to go forth and look, listen, and conserve. This amazing... Inspir inspiring compilation is an absolute must for birders and anybody who loves great writing about our natural world. Well, that sure is true. We got this book at the Tucson Pima County Public Library. I could go on and on about it, but get the book yourself. Uh, it's timeless. It's funny. <laughs> it's serious. There's Rachel Carson in here, Silent Spring. Oh, it just, I just loved every bit of it. And every, I just, I almost, I haven't quite finished it yet. I'm going to finish it today. But it's a uh, word you can savor and, uh, and loll over. I just loved it. Thanks for watching KRZ TV. Come back and watch all of our great book reviews at KRZ TV.
American Birds, a Literary Companion, edited by uh, Andrew Rubenfeld and Terry Tempest Williams.